What I have here, everyone, is a trekking pole tent from Nature Hike. This is the Spire one-person tent. I just recently got this in because I've had numerous viewers write in and request a review of this product. So here I am. This is a preview. So in this episode, we're going to set it up. We'll take a look at what comes with it and we'll discuss what we like and don't like. Then we will begin with our testing. Before we do a full component breakdown, it should be mentioned that if you purchase this tent, you're going to receive two packages. One is the tent and the other is a ground sheet that is designed specifically for this tent. Let's take a look at what's inside of the tent bag. So first off, you have a storage bag with grab handle. You have a draw pool at the front. Here's the tent itself. You have a compression strap. Nature Hike always uses very good compression straps. And you can use these for other things as well. We have the fly. We have the body. And we have some tent stakes and maybe something else. With the tent stakes here, you receive 15 of these. I'm assuming that the guy lines are attached to the fly. We'll check on that in just a minute. It should be mentioned, folks, that the setup instructions are included and they're on the inside of the bag here. And they are in English, along with other languages. These instructions are quite poor, to be honest. It's hard to tell what exactly they're showing here in these pictures. I'm at the point now where it's time to insert a pole. With this tent, no poles are included. That is something that you need to consider with this tent. You are going to need some trekking poles to set this up. So here you have it everyone, that is the Nature Hike Spire one person tent. This is a traditional pyramid tent. It uses a single pole to set up and you will use the majority of your tent stakes as well. I've staked out the body, I've staked out the fly, I have not staked out the ground sheet, nor the guy lines, but there are plenty of stakes to do so if I wanted to. When I set up this tent initially with my trekking pole, I had the point of the pole pointing upwards, but I decided that that wasn't a good idea, so I switched it around. There is a ring at the top, and I thought that's what basically was holding the pole into place, but that's not correct. The ring at the top is for the body. The body connects into that. At the base of the body on the inside, there's a small grommet that's the perfect size for the tip of your trekking pole to go into. The handle of your trekking pole goes at the top, and the point of your trekking pole goes into that grommet. Again, this is not made clear in the directions. Speaking of which, they're pretty bad. If you follow those directions, you will be able to set up the tent, but it's not going to be the best setup possible. I tell you what, let's go over some stats real quick before we touch upon the features of this tent and go inside. So again, this is a one person tent. It features one door. The tent has two vents, both at the top. The tent can be set up with just the fly, or you could set it up with the fly and the inner. You do not have to have the ground sheet with you to set up this tent. The fly material is a 20 denier silicone treated nylon. The floor is a 38T nylon and each of the corners have been reinforced with a 300 denier Oxford polyester. Again, no poles are included, the tent stakes are aluminum, and according to Nature Hike, the fly features a 2,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating. The floor is 3,000. When the tent is stored, it is 15 and 3 quarter inches long by 5.1 inches wide. When the tent is set up, the external measurements are as follows, 82.6 inches by 82.6 inches, and it's 53 inches tall. Here in a minute, we'll grab the tape measure and we'll measure the inside. The weight of this tent with all of the accessories, including the ground sheet, is 3.2 pounds. If you ditch all of the accessories and the ground sheet, the fly and the body, that's 2.4 pounds. This tent in the USA is available in one color and you're looking at it. Price wise, $130 is the retail price. And now let's take a look at the inside of the tent. We're now looking at the tent with the doors open, so you can see the inner there. You can see how the trekking pole is there in the center, goes up to the top, that's where the handle's at. Then the point of the trekking pole is down at the bottom. This has a bathtub floor, tons of mesh. You have two-way zippers. 
there's one pocket and that's all that you have inside of this tent by the way everyone there are eight guy lines and they are pre-attached getting into this tent is a little bit awkward i have to say namely because of this pole there's no real easy way to do it and the larger you are the harder this is going to be now that i'm inside of this tent i can tell you that it is very very small in here very small The fabric likes to lay down on top of you. And unfortunately, there's nothing you can do to prevent that from happening. Already, the stakeout points, they're as tight as they can be. I can tell you this right now before I even grab the tape measure. This is a very small tent. Very, very small. I'm laying inside of the tent. My head is touching the wall here and my feet are absolutely crammed against the other side. So, as far as the length goes, I would say five foot three and lower, okay. Five foot three and above, forget about it. Width-wise, it's about 30 inches wide. Height-wise, about 34 inches. And again, everyone, the door is super, super small. Those are the most accurate dimensions that I can give you all, considering the fact that the walls are tapered. Everything goes to a point. With all that I've said so far and gone over, it's obvious that this is a very small tent. And I personally find this to be very disappointing. This is a TP style tent. The quality looks to be excellent. With my observations, I've seen no loose threads. Everything looks great. The seam tape looks great. The materials are top notch. But yet, this tent is super, super small. And at the same time, it's not ultra light. You have to consider that the weight of this tent is roughly three pounds. With tent stakes and so on. Then you have to factor in the trekking poles so the weight goes up. There's a misconception out there that trekking pole tents are very lightweight and while some are those tend to be super super expensive. With the majority of trekking pole tents that are out on the market today those that are affordable for most people they're not really that lightweight when you consider the fact that you have to have trekking poles with you. As far as the spire tent goes the fact that it's so small it's so limiting Again, I do not recommend this tent for people who are above 5'4". Even at 5'4", you're going to have body parts touching the walls here. I have seen some videos of people around six foot tall using these tents, but the majority of those individuals have modded these tents to pull the walls out. That is not something that I'm going to do. I review products based upon their designs, their own metrics. I do not review a product based upon the alterations that I can do to it. With that being said though, I think the price is good, the materials are good, the weight is good, not super great. I think the tent is ultimately going to be very much waterproof, but I do have a big question about this shelter. How bad are the materials going to stretch? As I mentioned before, this is a 20 denier silicone treated nylon, and that is going to stretch in wet conditions. In the end, we'll let the product speak for itself. We'll take it out, we'll see if it's waterproof, we'll do some testing, and we'll see together just how bad these materials stretch. For this preview of the Spire tent, I am done. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this tent? By the way, I should mention this. This tent is just now available in the United States, but it has been available outside of the country for a long time, for at least two years. For all of my friends outside of the US, what do you all think about this tent? What do you all think about the size of this? I know that there are many viewers who have hands-on experience with this tent, and I'm curious to hear from you. Shoot me an email, I do appreciate it. As with all of the previews that I do here on the channel, I would recommend holding off on purchasing this product until I can test it out, until I can give you a thorough review. Before you go, hit the like button, it does help out. Subscribe to the channel, make sure to stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot of testing with this tent coming up very soon, and together we'll find out whether or not it's waterproof, and we'll find out together how bad these materials stretch. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Oh, 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 oh,